Hold on. Артем! Камон, Артем! Артем!
You want them to create a new Setting world up. with this? Not happily! You're misguided at the time! <laughs> Take the Baron! It's the best, strongest, who survives! Arteon, you're in the way. Gate open! Hooking the tech up! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. 
He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Oh. Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. Alright, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone. Yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. <laughs> Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow for to better hold you from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish so and to until death do us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go! Damn. <sighs> I'm so 
sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamandao, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump. Say How I don't can you have believe long. that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. So, son, care to tell me what do we do now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. Maybe we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Oh, good. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Mm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. Great toast! Hurrah! To you! Stefan, you play that song about us. Oh!
Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генерала, они бьют и едят нашу смерть. И где не ходят с ума от того, что нечего больше хотеть. А земля их можно увидеть. И если бы ты не стал бы на туда вернуться, в день вернуться домой. Это бой в огне. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission.